Hey, gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. I am back with Jason. Uh, today, we are going to talk about just lazy habits at the pool table. I did a video about this probably over a year ago, maybe. Um, so I know a lot of you that are new to the channel haven't seen it, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it in an open format uh, so that you recognize that you might be doing these things. They might be causing you a couple of shots here or there. And as you guys get better, or you guys that play on a higher level, you know that one shot that you just did something stupid, you, you just didn't take the time to do things correctly, uh, can cause you an entire game, maybe even an entire match, um, right. depending on the level that you're playing. So we're gonna talk about some of these things. Uh, Jason, how are you tonight? I'm doing well. It's it's funny that this is one of the topics of our um of, of our cast tonight because that's one of the first videos that I saw of yours that you had on there a while ago. And it's okay. definitely one of those videos that when I watched it, I was like, Yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. <laughs> and um, you know, I've worked, you know, as, as much as I can over the past several months to try to sort them out. But no matter what, I don't I don't care who you are, you know, we all get a little bit lazy. We all, yeah. um, you know, di divert back to some bad habits. You know, you, you get on a nice run of balls and you're like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to chalk this cue or I'm not going to go grab the mechanical bridge. I got this shot. I'm feeling good. And all of a sudden, boom, you miss that shot and you could end up losing the game. So and then you're kicking yourself. E even sometimes two or three games later, you're still reverting back <laughs> to that game that you lost. And, you know, yeah. you, like we always say, right, we, we, uh, we remember the ones we lose and not always the ones we win. Um, and, you know, well, especially, especially carelessly. Especially and one of the so. one of the things, and I love that you touched on this. You know, one of the problems with um, remembering the ones that we miss is you don't miss that shot. You miss other shots as a result of that because you're still yeah. thinking, thinking about. about it. Yeah, you're harping on it. You're harping. Yeah, on it. and sure. and yeah. you don't, you know, you don't get over it. it might take days. Sometimes yeah. reminds me of um, I was I was playing with this um, this young lady who said I I said you haven't put chalk on your stick in in five shots when you know when are you going to put the chalk on there and she said well when I miss Q, I know I'm supposed to put the chalk on there wow I'm like well that's that's pretty late and right. um, then I get you know and I was I was part of the Kamui crowd okay I I used that twenty five thirty dollar chalk but you guess what went on my tip every time because it's part of my routine you don't know at what point the chalk's it's not there out. anymore and when it came out you know i i heard a guy at the pool hall who was a professional i'm not going to mention his name but um because i don't know what he's doing these days but but he was a professional and he said i would use that chalk but it would cost me a fortune because I'm going to put the chalk on my tip every time mm -hmm. out of my routine. And it occurred to me, that's what's going to happen to me. And I ended up doing the exact same thing. Even though I had it, it was on my tip. I knew it was going to be there. Right. It should be part of your pre-shot routine. And it's, um, it, it's just simple. You, you don't know when the chalk's not there anymore. We are habitual. So you know, you, you start now not chalking up. Now maybe you start not lining up your shot, you know, before every shot, or maybe you start doing other things that, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're breaking out a routine. So, you know, yeah, I, I, uh, I agree. I agree with that. I think you should chalk up on, on everyone. I yeah. mean, you know, I, I've been doing it for a while now and it's, it, it's helpful. Yeah. Guys are going to do what they're going to do, mm -hmm. but also getting in the habit of not chalking up is a bad habit. Of course. Because, you know, that $25 chalk is not going to be on the table all the time. Walking the table, I, I think, is another one that a lot of people just don't do. I played a guy on Saturday who was a pretty good player. Um, and this is my shot, shout out to Todd. Uh, he lost the race to five, five to three. OK, so I beat him five to three. But he wanted me to mention on the channel. <laughs> That he won three games. Okay. But that's respectable. That's respectable, Todd. Good for you. Yeah. There's your shout out, Todd. Todd only lost five to three. Um, so, but he's a he's a um he's a very good shot maker, but 
at least on one occasion, uh, I told him, hey, if you had walked around the table, did you see this? You know, here's your here's your combination. And and if you don't walk the table, walk around the table, uh, you're not seeing it from from all angles. But for um, every shot, but for every shot, Brian, I mean if you're if the balls are clustered up, yeah, if you're not certain, don't make assumptions. Okay, especially if there's a cluster. It really helps to walk around, especially on clusters, because sometimes you see things. You didn't realize we're there. And I think it's a habit that I picked up from straight pool because you might look at a cluster for, you know, for 15 to 20 seconds to figure out what you can actually do there. But I see people all the time. I, I saw Shane shoot a shot and it was in a video that I, I actually, um, I think it was a video that I did color on for the channel. And uh, well, I did technical stuff on it, not color. But the shot, I think everybody in the auditorium could tell the shot couldn't go. And Shane, great, one of the greatest players ever, took a shot that didn't go. The, the camera angle, we could tell the shot couldn't go. Everybody in the auditorium could probably tell because they're looking at the big screen that the shot couldn't go. But Shane did not walk around the table and actually see that the shot didn't go. He made an assumption about the shot. So here we got one of the greatest players ever that you know missed a shot that I don't remember, but it probably cost him a game at the level that he's playing um, because he didn't look to see that the ball actually did pass the other ball. So, no, you're not doing laps around the table every time. But if there's any doubt, and, and there's doubt a lot more often than you would think, but if there's any doubt, go ahead and walk that table because um, there's things that, that you might find. The mechanical bridge we already talked about. Guys, if you can't reach the shot, don't be that – Number one, don't be the behind the back guy. Uh, number two, don't have yourself people, reaching. People still do that. I haven't seen that in. Some uh, I'm sure they're out uh, there. They don't do it where I play because I I think they would escort them to the door. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that in a while. I mean, I've seen yeah. it on a couple of uh, yeah, a couple of times, but yeah, I, I'm I'm sure there's guys out there doing it. Um, it's cute when girls do it, but when, when guys do it, come on now. Of course. Um, pick up the bridge, for God's sakes. But or, 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 or practice a couple of the simple shots left-handed. The ones that you know you exactly. can't reach. You, know, you, you don't have to practice every shot left-handed. You don't have to run around. That is true. It. But that if you know true. that there's two or three, maybe four shots that come up every once in a while, mm -hmm. you, know, you could practice those lefty. You know, there, there's yeah. several of them that you can. Um, so... Yeah, that, that's another thought. And I did a video on how to develop your, your offhand in, in shooting. Um, cause I do it because I play on nine foot tables. I play a lot of straight pool and now I tend to play also position so that I don't have to shoot those shots left-handed, but yeah, you're right. The, the majority of those shots, you know, where they are on the table, that's where, you know, you need to practice them. Um, I like to shoot the whole rack just because it's less boring. Uh, right. but you know, yeah, work on those left-hand shots, get that bridge out of your hand. And I think one of the, the most fortunate things that happened to me was one of the first books that I ever read on pool was Moscone's book, which, you know, today it wouldn't even get published by the way. It wasn't great. I love Willie Moscone's the reason I play pool today. Um, his book, looking back on it, you know, from God, it was published, uh, 50 years ago. But it was um, boring or boring or inaccurate. Well, there were things that we, we learned later to do differently, like his balance point on where he holds the cue and, and stuff like that. But it wasn't a lot of information. And it was published at the time when there weren't a bunch of pool books and there was no competition. And he was Willie Moscone. So he kind of threw some things together that somebody said, well, this is going to sell regardless. But anyway. Wasn't great, but I did learn a lot of stuff from it. Let's just say that. But right. one of the things he wrote that I never forget, and I think about any time I pick up that bridge or shoot left-handed, was Moscone saying in that book, I've seen a lot of great players miss shots because they wouldn't pick up the bridge. So, um, so I, I did get that out of it. A uh, couple other things real quick. Don't let your pre-shot routine get too far away from you. If it's a easy, if it's a layup, you're going from A to B and it's just going to knock 
okay, you don't need to line no, up your, you don't need to go through all of that, but um, try to stay as close to your pre-shot routine as possible. And I think the one thing that we didn't mention was the anyways. You get down on a shot, something's wrong. Your feet aren't right. Your foot is up against the, the wall and you don't like the way it feels. You're not quite lined up. Stand back up, okay? At least look up, readjust, get back down in the shot. Don't just shoot it anyway. All right, so that's the anyway. So those are our five things. Walk the table, use the bridge, chalk up, don't shoot the anyways, and try to stick to your pre-shot routine. Don't be lazy, guys. All of these things are very simple things that make all the difference in the world. They are. Now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Good and habits. Good habits. Yep. Good habits. Hit us in the comments. Let us know what you think. And Jason, thank you for. Um, thank you, Brian. Jump, I appreciate being on, on again. Always. Yep. Yep. Want to make sure you guys are subscribing. Hit us in the comments. Give us a thumbs up. All those things you know you're supposed to be doing. Very easy to do. So um, we will see you next time. Have All a great right, day. Thanks, everybody. Right. It literally did not pass the other ball. My, my girls are cooking upstairs. People are working here. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be edited later. Don't worry. Yeah.